5.30, wake up and pee. I left my fucking sausages out. No, I left them Love out. it. <laughs> R.I.P. Oh, three man. snags over my breakfast and my whole meal plan was ruined. I'm never yawning in front of anyone again. I've got the runs and I'm about to get cramped. Fake it till you make it. Fix me. Holster, coach. Gate, talking to the dogs, telling Gordon that if he pees in the back of the buggy again, I'm gonna have stern words with him. Driving there, hello Kia, hello Kookaburra. Tree that's come back from the dead, grass height, grass density, grass diversity. Where's he going? Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. Running. We're just gonna sit here with them for a second. Just so they're not in a running state of mind. Yeah, we'll settle down. <whistles> just gonna drive them with the Up. Just gonna drive them with the buggy. So you save dog power. In case they're feeling good and they run away. For example, After a little while, these ones were on their best behaviour, so I left them on their own, go get some more cattle, found a cattle pad, found electric fence, found two more mobs, went with the ones that were in the middle of the paddock. They were being a bit go slow, but nothing can't, can beat the big green machine, so they started on up. So we chucked her in low and just followed them nice and steady to the dam. Pulling on the job, have to take that out of your pay, Gordon. We got to the dam and I ran over 10,000 sticks. These tyres are amazing, they're so tough. Go fast, go bogey, nice go broom. This is me deciding whether to use the dogs or to not use the dogs. I decided to not use the dogs. Whack her in, reverse, was going back and forth. They were being pains in the ass just standing there, so... Um, I let Mittens out and we got him to go eventually. It was nice and good. We met up with the cattle along the fence, which were probably part of the mob that I saw before. Maddie up. And this is how many cattle there were. Just a few. And this is me pretty much unclogging the drain. See, they weren't real too fussed on moving because there was cattle standing in the gateway so we just move them on and then watch how the rest of them flow on through like water very nice very nice very nice now it was at this point where i probably should have followed them on through and then gone in the lead and used the dogs to bring the tail because this probably fucked the rest of my day or more just the rest of the two hours that it took to get in the next paddock but um three hours i suppose yeah, so they pretty much, they went through the gate. I'm collecting the tail here. I should have left this job to my dogs, but they went through the gate, put their heads down, just eight, and it was just me and seven dogs. And um, it was very difficult to get them moving again. There's little Moss blocking them up. What a little champion. He's over just over a year old now, closing the gate up. And as you can see, this is where they go out and just put their heads down. Phone ran out of storage, so this is the barely contained chaos. This is getting them through the last two gates. Oh, it's right there. I was so excited. I had to do two mobs because they were that fucking split up and everywhere. Bogey. Got home in time for smoked meat and to spend the rest of the Saturday with the fam and boyfriend. The dogs did a ripper job.